Hey, this is uh, Nilatri Mahapatra and today what I am trying to explain you the method of doing planning poker for estimating a user story in uh, Agile framework and I uh, will try to make it very simple so that uh, you can use it and understand it what exactly the main motto is. So let's uh, start with two assumption and uh, let's assume we have a backlog and backlog have uh, 12 different stories and in those 12 different stories we will targeting three stories those are not yet grown and those stories need estimation we will do a planning poker to estimate that story and we will try to demonstrate uh, the method of planning poker that anyone can use or any team can use to estimate a story we are following a five step workflow so those workflow will starting from backlog then groomed then in progress then completed and then accepted so we will be mainly focusing on the user stories those are currently in backlog stays and we'll do a grooming session within grooming session we will move that story from backlog to groomed and we'll be doing an estimation within that grooming session we'll uh, estimate a story points for that particular story so let's begin this is our user uh, stories backlog currently so uh, in our backlog we can see we have all these stages and each stages have some different uh, number of stories we'll be working on the stories those are not yet estimated so backlog is that stage so in our backlog we have three stories and we will we'll estimating two stories out of them and uh, let me just uh, give you a brief of uh, the other stages in this uh, demonstration uh, let's assume we have three stories those are in groom state story 10 story 9 and story 8 and those were estimated as story points 3 story points 5 and story point 3 in progress uh, that is uh, the sprint progress in the sense the running sprint uh, sprint 10 we have uh, two stories uh, under that uh, sprint those are currently in progress story 7 and story 6 and those were estimated as story point 8 and story point 5 now uh, next stage is the completed the developer or the tester have completed that story and estimated was uh, that story was estimated and ready for acceptance uh, by the product owner the last stage accepted the product owner uh, already have accepted three stories story one story two and story uh, three those were estimated as five three two but in this backlog we are actually focusing on the first stage uh, where we have unestimated story or the stories need estimation needs grooming and how we'll be do estimating that stories or how a team can estimate the stories using a planning poker uh, we will be doing that so our primary focus will be on these three stories story 13 story 12 and story 11 to groom it now uh, i'm moving to the next uh, stage where we can say okay this is uh, our uh, assume team structure there are three uh, three different roles product owner scrum masters and the development team the product owner is demonstrating the stories with details of what uh, are the stories is there and all the different aspect will come to that the scrum master is sitting along with the development team uh, that is starts with that we are grooming the story 11 today so the person who is standing there he's the product owner and he is demonstrating all the aspects of that story what is the requirement what is the dependency what is uh, the risk and what exactly the acceptance criteria will be so that's giving the details of all the aspects of the stories the developer needs to develop that and the scrum master sitting there is facilitating uh, all the inputs uh, he knows uh, in between of the developer tester and product owner by talking with other uh, cross-functional team or any inputs or any facilitating estimating a story or how you can effectively groom a story or how we can size a story so any coaching related on the agile practice uh, the scrum master is facilitating at the same time the four team members you are seeing they are uh, thinking about inside of the stories to develop it what will be the real amount of work what will be the associated risk with that if there is any technical changes they need to more think about if there is any dependencies with other stories uh, fall into mm, other scrum teams or anything 
what exactly the complexity of the code change or complexity of the overall change and uh, primarily what is the value of that change uh, what should be the business impact or business um, uh, business value for that particular change so after thinking all of them and they um, they now reach to a situation where they can actually estimate a story so uh, before estimating they start uh, talking about uh, the product owner mainly start uh, asking them are you okay with all the requirements all uh, the discussion we had and all the acceptance criteria we mentioned are they uh, clear about that or not and if they think okay if uh, everyone is on same page they can estimate the story the product owner asks them okay let's give your estimation uh, what do you think to individual uh, team member so the t individual team member needs to think about it and give an estimated uh, value or estimated size of that particular story so remember only development team can estimate by expressing their viewpoints with a number of uh, with a number in a fibonacci series so they can discuss with uh, the bo or the business analyst or external team or any other team members or the ui team or ux team or the database team to gather more information to gauge possible size of that story so that is very important uh, only the development team or the testers they will be estimating the scrum master will not estimate or the product owner will not uh, estimate but they can suggest the scrum master can suggest okay there was a previous story similar to this uh, kind of requirement and we had estimated like this or uh, product owner can help them understand okay we had a similar stories earlier and this was estimated like this so that kind of inputs come from that but the final or uh, the ultimate uh, estimations will come from the uh, development team so here they are uh, all the developer they are actually thinking about uh, what are the risks what are the dependencies what ex exactly the work will be what will be the testings like and finally came up with a uh, story points so someone says it's story point 5 someone says it's story point 3 someone says story points 2 someone says uh, says story points 3 now <clears throat> the scrum masters uh, says okay everyone express their uh, voice on expressing their uh, story points and we can see okay uh, the majority of the voting came was to, uh, story points 3 so uh, we'll go for story point 3 as of now if, um, but scrum master also take a decision at the po this point of time if uh, someone says okay this is story point 13 and someone says story point 2 he may uh, ask them to talk in details why he thinks it's too high and why he thinks it's too low and they can collaborate to a mutual decision and, and reestimate that so we'll talk about that later so as of now in this situation we have finalized the estimation for this particular story story 11 as story point 3 now uh, you see the backlog uh, we i am showing in the right hand side also after grooming Uh, what it will be looks like so initially uh, the story 11 we were grooming and now after grooming we have groomed the story to story 11 and estimated at story 3 so this is how uh, we estimated one story i express it in very quickly and uh, very simple way uh, you can revisit it and uh, try to find out uh, in another way so we estimated story 11 as uh, story point 3 and similarly we mm, estimated the story another story also uh, that was story 12 and that story 12 we estimated as story point 2 and it will be looks like okay story point 12 was estimated to like this we earlier estimated uh, story 11 with a story point 3 and story 13 we were unable to estimate it because uh, there were some uh, uh, we are assuming this is an assumption the team uh, was unable to estimate because there were some technical doubts or some uh, team wants to talk more details or need some clarity on the details of the story to estimate and the scrum masters uh, take the decision okay we'll uh, regroom it on our next grooming session and he will organize a meeting in between the next grooming session with the uh, involved parties he thinks needs to be to clarify all the team's uh, doubt so hope uh, you understood a basic concept of planning poker to estimate a story point for user story 
this was a very short tutorial and I tried to elaborate the techniques of doing planning poker once you will start working on it you will definitely discover a few more details of it and each organization is different you will be uh, facing different aspects of doing that uh, I have few more uh, tips uh, to uh, tell you regarding planning poker and we'll see what are those tips are number one uh, planning poker how we'll do in a distributed team so here you uh, saw okay everyone is sitting in a one room and they were estimating uh, whatever the points they are coming to their mind and expressing that but if someone is sitting in different geographical location and how they will do it so here we saw okay everything is fine everyone is sit, uh, sitting in one meeting room inside USA some team member is in Brazil he can talk with telephone he can join a conference and uh, on that grooming we using some screen sharing session with Webex or blue jeans or whatever the possible uh, or available uh, tool they have and can express their voting by saying two. Someone is in India, the same team, they can say, okay, for my side, it's print three, uh, story point three. So that way, the collaborative way they can do it uh, through telephone or uh, any uh, Webex or any um, video conferencing tool they are using. But that's very simple. It's very straightforward that uh, you don't need to be in one place uh, to cast your vote. You can do it from anywhere. Now, second points, uh, what will happen if uh, one uh, team member is saying it's 21 or it's 13 and another team member is saying no, it's 2. So that's very, uh, very big difference between two uh, team members thinking. So in that case, uh, the Scrum Masters uh, encourage both of them uh, to talk about details, why he thinks it's story point 3 and why he thinks it's only story point 2. So the entire team goes for another round of discussion here and uh, after the discussion they can do a re-estimate and find out okay it's really be 13 because the another team member was missing something or uh, the um, person who is estimating 13 he may be over estimating because he have not looked into some aspect so that needs a new decision once again and scrum master asks everyone to mutually resolve the gap to re-estimate the story by discussing and resolving the technical uh, difference they are thinking about and that way this estimation round happens once again after their uh, discussion next point uh, what i have what tools i can use to cast my vote so there are many ways you can express, you can just speak out, you can um, raise, the num uh, raise the number of fingers uh, you think that can be say, two fingers means two story points, three fingers means three story points or eight fingers means eight story points. So that way you can raise your finger and express, okay, this is the story point I think. There are lots of smartphone apps available uh, for doing a planning poker, everyone can install and uh, join one particular room and uh, cast their vote using that app so once you browse in google you can find uh, many apps to do that and also you can use a planning poker cards it's uh, simple playing cards and uh, looks like a planning uh, playing cards but it shows a different number in fibonacci series and you can just show the number instead of speaking or saying anything and that what you ex uh, think about so this is how uh, you can actually cast your vote. Now, uh, another uh, biggest uh, confusion I saw people have, they um, confused about the effort estimation and the story point estimation. So it's totally different. We uh, should not uh, confuse with story point and uh, the effort estimation. And story points always happen with the story level and the effort estimation if you want to do you can do it on the task level. The task is a child of story and in this uh, picture you can actually see how where we are ex uh, estimating the hours of our effort to work on. So one story can have multiple tasks of development testing UI for whatever you think and you can estimate the task hours based upon who is working on that. We'll be covering that session on mapping our capacity with uh, estimation when we'll be doing a sprint planning. So this is uh, an overall idea that you should not mix up the effort estimation and story point estimation. There is no relation and you, mm, that's totally different aspect. So that's all uh, I had for today and hope uh, you understood uh, 
how you can do a planning poker this uh, web uh, url you can uh, look for more details on uh, agile and different aspects of that if you have any questions or any doubts you can feel free to mail me the email id is uh, right here niladri at agiledigest.com till that time thank you thanks for watching bye bye